Well, I tested it out and you're right. This Sony a7 IV is actually a pretty great camera. It takes great photos and the video is pretty solid. I told you. But honestly, I just can't get past the 4K 60 cropped footage. Uh, like, what am I supposed to do if, if I want to take full frame slow motion video? Just not do it? I don't know. It's kind of a problem for me. Well, why don't you just use the 120 frames per second 1080p footage that the Sony a7 IV has? That, that seems pretty obvious to me. Like, do you really need 4K? It's high definition. Yeah, except for that's 8-bit 420 footage, not 10-bit 422 footage. Yeah, you you kind of lost lost me there. Well, 8-bit 420 footage just doesn't capture as much color information, and that's going to affect me in the editing process. Okay, but not that much more information. Let's put it this way. So 8-bit 420 footage is going to capture about 16.7 million colors. Oh, wow. That's... That's a ton of colors. I don't see the issue. Yeah, it it would be good, except for 10-bit 422 footage captures over a billion colors. Oh, that's a lot more colors to work with in post-processing. Okay, so we've all heard by now that one of the biggest critiques for the Sony a7 IV is the 4K 60 crop factor and the loss of 1080p 120 frames per second footage. That's 10-bit. I remember when I bought this camera, I was thinking, it's not that big of a deal, it's cropped. I'll just film 1080p instead of 4K and shoot 120 frames per second. The problem is that was not really a capability because it didn't have 120 frames per second 10-bit footage. It only had 8-bit, which is really, really difficult in the editing process. Thankfully, there's a fix for that, so we're gonna jump straight into the settings and I'm gonna show you how you can set up 1080p footage at 120 frames per second, 10-bit, 422, so that you can meet all your slow motion, buttery, delicious B-roll footage needs. Let's get into it. So to start off with, we're gonna switch our kind of shooting mode to S&Q using this camera video S&Q mode switch dial um, on the Sony a7 IV. And when you're in S&Q mode, make sure that the top is also showing manual. So you'll be, want to be in manual S&Q mode. Turn your camera on. And then we're going to go to menu, okay? So once we're in menu, we're going to want to make sure to go down to this video camera icon, this camera icon. And you are going to go over to image quality, which is number one. And you're going to go to file format, okay? So a lot of times with your other video, you'll probably have it preset as XAVC-S 4K or XAVC-SI 4K. When we're doing 120 frames per second, we can't be in 4K because this camera does not handle that. So it's got to be HD. I would suggest XAVC-SI HD because this is going to be the highest quality HD footage that you can, you can possibly have on this camera. So do that. And then we're going to go to movie settings. Um, movie settings. Can really be any of these and you're kind of locked in there at 222m422 10-bit okay so this is a lot of information this thing is going to capture because we set that to xavc si hd next we're going to go down to s and q settings which is still in number one of the camera menu we're going to go into s and q settings the first setting we're going to do is we're going to do 24p because we're going to be editing this probably on a 24 frames per second timeline so you want that first setting to be 24p and then this next one we've got all these different options depending on what s and q modes you want but we're going to go to 120 frames per second okay and then naturally we're doing 89m422 10-bit so as you can see just from that simple setting now your s and q is going to be recording in 422 10-bit footage at 120 frames per second, which is the issue when you're not in SUQ mode, and this is how you fix it. So do that. The next things I would check, because we're gonna wanna make this a memory mode so that you can just switch into this really, really easy, is we wanna make sure that your picture profile is right. So you're gonna go back to your menus, you're gonna go down one menu item to there, and then you're gonna go to number five, color slash tone. Once you're in there, go to picture profile, you can use a lot of different picture profiles. I recommend shooting in S-Log3, although I also really like HLG, um, but I use PP8, which is S-Log3, um, as you can see there. So we're gonna just make sure we're selected at S-Log3. Then we're gonna go off of the menu 
and make sure our shutter speed is right. So because we're filming at 120 frames per second, the rule is with filming rates that you double your shutter speed. So if you're filming at 24 frames per second, your shutter speed should be 1 50th of a second. Since we're filming at 120 frames per second, the shutter speed should be 1 250th frames per second, okay? Um, your f-stop can be whatever you want, whatever your filming style is. A lot of times I'll have it around uh, 2.8, 2, something like that, just as a starting base. And your ISO should not dip below 800 because some wonky things can happen with your footage. So start your ISO either at 800 or in my opinion, 3200. These are typically the two cleanest ISOs on the Sony a7 IV. So you could set it to 800 and just kind of change it as you need. Um, there's other things you can do with white balance and all that, but we'll, we'll go back to the menu. We've kind of got all that set up and we're going to go back to the shooting mode, the camera menu, and we are going to go to number four, shooting mode, and then go to camera set memory. And I would set this to one of these three memory modes. I typically do number three, just because three is the highest number and I often put the highest frame rate also at that number, but you can choose what you want. And so let's say you set it to number three, so you click select. I've already got this set up, so I'm not gonna do it again. And you'll have it there. And then all you have to do is switch into S and Q mode on your selector toggle here. And then on top, instead of being in manual, go to number one, two, or three, whatever you set that up as. And all your previous settings are gonna be there and you will be able to film in 120 frames per second, 10 bit footage, 422, um, uncropped. And uh, that's, it's that simple, that's, that's how you do it. So guys, it's literally that easy to solve this 10-bit 422, 120 frames per second issue. A couple things to keep in mind, if you are slowing down your footage that much, the lack of audio recording isn't really an issue because if you're slowing down your audio, it's gonna end up sounding a lot more like this. And that's just not really something that's gonna sound good in any video. If you guys do really feel the need to have that, that audio recording, I suggest just using something like a Rode Wireless Go 2 or some kind of Rode mic that that uh, will like record your audio within the, the microphone itself. And then you can just pull that and add it in post. Another thing to keep in mind is let's say you don't want it at 20% speed that comes with filming at 120 frames per second. So something you can do in post is just speed it up. Let's say you want 60% speed instead of 20% speed. Just try multiplying that speed of the clip by 300%. That's gonna bring it up to 60% speed and it kind of solves the issue. Obviously it's not perfect, but it will take care of you in, in a pinch. And that's all guys. Hopefully you found this video really helpful and you're gonna be able to start going out and recording in 120 frames per second uncropped on your Sony a7 IV. I know I use this feature a ton once I learned about it and I'm sure you guys are gonna be able to as well. If you guys enjoyed this video and wanna see more photography type videos and gear reviews, I wanna ask you that you give me a like and a subscribe because that's gonna help this video go out and help more people. I'm Kalen Charles and we'll see you next time.